John Chow here from johnchow.com. Welcome to Driving with John Chow. Uh, it's going to be another beautiful day here in sunny Orange County. The sun's already coming out. Just dropped Sally off school. And right now it's only 64 degrees, but it's going to get nice and warm. I Actually, maybe I'll go out to the go out to the Dana Point Beach today and and take some videos and, and photos from that. <laughs> it's one of the advantages of living a dot-com lifestyle, you know, it's because... I have systems in place that's on the internet that's making their money. I can live the dot com lifestyle. And even though I'm going to be on the beach relaxing, I'll still be making money. And uh, I guess you guys already experienced that anyway, because when, you know, uh, in my last video a while back, you might have saw where I posted that I made like $23,000 while I was sleeping and woke up in the morning and saw 20, 20 plus thousand dollars in my account. Right? So that's uh, that, that really, I, I still. You know, sometimes I just got pinched myself when to see that happen. Uh, I guess one of, the, one of the most common questions I get is like, uh, why do so many people fail at internet marketing? Why do so many people fail at, at starting a business? Not just, not just an internet business, but any business, most businesses in general. But specifically, I want to, I want to, the internet business is a little different than a regular business because it's, it's so cheap to start. That, that's uh, but I'll, I'll get into that. I'll get into that a little a little later. Uh, the question of why do some people fail? Uh, I feel there's a whole bunch of reasons. But what I want to do is I want to give you some of the the top three or four. Maybe they might, I might do this as a multiple series. But we'll start. We'll start with the, the first one, the main. And I believe this is this is the main reason why why people fail. And uh, and that's basically a total just a lack of passion. A lack of passion for what they're what they want to do, what they're trying to accomplish. They're just not passionate about it. Now, they may think that, but it's it's coming from a different part of their of their thinking. You know, the idea of living the dot com lifestyle is, is great. They go, oh yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want, right? But uh, but then they find out that. It, you actually need to do some work to do this. Like, it sounds great that, you know, when I tell you that, oh, yeah, I, I can make like 20 grand overnight and I'm relaxed on the beach. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. What you're seeing is right now, for me, what you're seeing is right now. What you don't see is when I first started doing two blog posts every single day for five years or first eight months of my blog's life, making absolutely zero, nothing. And it is those periods that that's where when people start seeing no results. No result after months and months of work. No result after blood, sweat, and tears, creating content, trying to make videos, trying to get people to come to my site, everything, and see no result, and p- to be able to keep on going. And the only way you can do that is if you're actually passionate about what you are doing. And if you're not passionate, you're not going to stick around long enough to actually fulfill it. Because I-, I tell people, I tell people all the time that this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You know, blogging, internet marketing, this is a real business. It's not, it's not like, you know, like so many of the emails I get. If I, if I just buy your $49 product, I make money, right? No, you do not make money if you just buy my product. You do not make money if you buy any internet product. You actually have to buy the product and then actually do what the product say. If you don't do it, then nothing happens. So if you're not passionate about this, like, you're not gonna do it well you may do it for the first little while but then what's gonna happen is you're not gonna see any the instant gratification that's gonna happen and you're gonna quit and then that's it and that leads to the second point see most people the majority of people are exactly where they want to be what do I mean by that I mean like you can say oh the people say no no I want to be where you are I want to be where you are yeah you you may wish to be where I am you are happy where you are because most people are content. They say, and this is why people a lot don't put in the effort. You know, oh, it's 49 bucks. I'll try it out. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, uh, whatever, right? Because yeah, I still have my job. I mean, I'm still able to come home and watch some TV. I mean, it's not what I really, if I, I wish I had a better car. I wish I lived in a better house, but you know, it's okay. So a lack, a lack of a desire to actually truly want better things or, you know, lack, or truly need. You know that, see, most people, 
And I see this all the time because I see a lot of people go through various systems and, you know, I have a lot of success story. You know? And I find that the majority of the time, the people who are successful actually do it is because they come to a certain a point in their life, in their journey, where they needed to do it. Something happened. Like they were laid off. Their parents got sick and they needed, they needed to do it. And that's when they actually did it. See, the passion started burning into them and the desire started coming. They needed to do it. They, had, they were left with actually no choice but to do it. So, and if, unfortunately, for a lot of people, for a lot, a lot of people, that's the, that's when it gets triggered. And I hate to say that, oh yeah, you know, you finally did it when you were forced to do it, or you had no choice but to do it. That's when you finally did it. And that's not a good situation to be in. You know, I, I'd rather, you know, have you do it, but you don't have to be in that situation. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's just the way it is, you know, like a lack of passion, a lack of desire, because we're content. Let's see it. Most people are actually content. And I, that's, why I, that's why I say most people are where they want to be. Now, now if it's where you want to be and where you wish to be, they're two different things. And most people think, I wish to be here, but I'll settle for here. Right? So my advice, don't settle. All right? Where you wish to be, you can be where you wish to be, but you need to be passionate about this. And you just need to basically take the first step and just, just do it, all right? So uh, I hope that helps you out and uh, hope that motivates you to get started and get going. And uh, like I said, tomorrow I'll talk about the second biggest thing of uh, why people fail online. But as you can see, the first thing is, it's really, it's mindset. I, I mean, I've been talking about this for the last few weeks, mindset. Change your mindset and you will change your life. John Shop and JohnShop.com. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. I appreciate it if you uh, like and share my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.